Why is this so messy? <laughs> Whew, look at that. Ah, hot, 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 hot. guys so we are finally back today with another video and i'm not gonna lie this is probably my fourth time trying to film this because of lighting and like sound issues and it's just so much trying to figure this out fingers crossed that this is gonna be my last time trying to film this so here we are today as i am going to be reviewing this milky plant nut milk making machine that i've been using for the last couple of months now Let's get on with it. Let's get it on. If you know that song. <laughs> of course, we have to first share with you what is my favorite nut milk that I love to drink using this machine. And without further ado, let's grab the ingredients. Should I do the snap thing or should I just like bring everything in? <laughs> uh. Aren't you guys excited that spring is coming? During the winter days, sun would set around like 4 plus which is like in a couple of hours but like recently it has been setting around 7pm and I am so... <sighs> yes... I hate speechless. Okay, <laughs> anyway here we have the ingredients and of course over here I have a couple of nuts that I've been experimenting with with this nut milk machine and here I have my raw whole cashews and I have another one here I'll explain a bit why but before that I wanted to share a little bit on how I even got to love nut milks so my friend used to own a cold press juice company and that was probably like four years ago or could be more. And at that point, it was my first time trying out cold pressed juices or even nut milks. And so there's this juice cleanse set that you can drink like daily. So you can get three day set, one day set, whatever you prefer. Basically in this set, there will be six different juices. And the first four will be like green juices, fruit juices, while the last two are always nut milks. And that was when I got to first try nut milks and it tasted so delicious. And the nut milks tasted so delicious. My favorite one was coffee cashew nut milk. So you can imagine after they sold the company and they revamped the whole brand and changed the recipes, I was devastated. I was completely devastated because it meant that I would never get to drink this coffee cashew nut milk ever again. I tried to purchase cashew nut milks from the stores but they were just never really like the same because you can't really alter the thickness and I really like my coffee cashew nut milk stick. Yeah, that was how I got to love nut milks. It was just like a, an entirely different experience drinking nut milks and the flavour is just something you can't get. Um, from like cow milk so yeah as i actually got to experience making my own nut milk with my friend she actually taught me how to make it and it was just so much work and it was so tedious i was definitely not gonna replicate the same methods at home i thought of it for a while but i was like you know what no this is too much because i had to purchase like the cheesecloth i had to grind the nuts myself and then sort of like there's just a bunch of steps to do it and it took really long and the hardest part was actually squeezing out the milk from the cheesecloth just remember how it made me feel and i would say tired <laughs> that takes a lot of time a lot of effort and just not worth it for like a cup of cashew nut milk for, in my opinion honestly so of course when i first heard that there was such 
a machine to make your own nut milk. I was so excited. Saw it on a YouTube video and I knew I had to get my hands on it. So here I have this milky plant machine today with me and I'm going to show you guys how I've been enjoying it in the last couple of months. It really served a good time and I drink it almost like, not almost every day, maybe like twice to four times a week. So, oh my gosh, I'm so thankful I can still drink the flavor that I've been craving for in the last few years without needing to do all that tedious work. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to go into how I make my favorite cashew nut milk. So the one that my friend uh, made in her store is actually ca coffee cashew nut milk, which honestly the difference is just with a little bit of um, coffee. <laughs> but I prefer it without coffee because I, I want to drink it at night. It helps me to wind down into bed easily and also prevents me from feeling snackish because I do feel snackish a lot. So here I do have two packs of cashews. This one was the one I bought later on and this one was the first one I got in order to experiment with the milky plant machine first to see how it would turn out. And honestly, as you can see, I really like drinking this. It's much smaller, but it's definitely a lot more expensive. Like this one is 7 USD or 8 USD, whereas this one was about 5 to 6 USD. So the amount is quite huge, but I did realize that the flavor in this was a lot richer and sweeter and creamier. Even though when you try the nuts on its own, it's not as um, prominent, it's not as obvious. But yeah, so I would say would the raw cashew that you use the brand and the type would it matter yes it would but this is definitely good enough if you want to drink it on a daily basis because it would be quite expensive to just drink this all the time so hence i'm just alternating between these two and for today's video we're going to use this pack to make my cashew nut milk so how do we make it super simple? I would say to use this machine is so simple. There's no learning curve to it. It's just like easy peasy. And they even have a lot of guidelines on YouTube. So you guys can go check it out. We have to do a proper cleanse. So here I am. So I'm going to do a deep cleanse first before we make the nut milk. Lock this up and then fill the water tank. And we are going to cleanse. On and press the exact same button you use for nut milks. Now that we have washed off the nut milk machine, we are now going to make my actual cashew nut milk and we are going to fill up this filtered water above the minimum line. Usually it doesn't actually um, use up all of the water. There's usually a bit left. So it's kind of safe to just fill up right above the minimum. Just a little more. And we are going to put the water tank back in. And we are now going to fill. I'm going to put in the raw cashew nuts, the top where the grinder is. And I'm going to use my little spoon or spatula or cup. And I usually put about one and a half cups. That's the thickness that I like. Here is half a cup. Two. And There we have it. I'm also going to put in one date. You have to use fresh dates for this, so dried dates wouldn't work. I usually put about this size. If it's a little bigger, then I would actually split it into two different usages. So what we'll do is split it in half to remove the middle seed and just dump this in can lock it I'm gonna place this here and all we have to do is press the same button that we use to wash the nut milk 
machine. Okay. And wait. Cashew nut milk is done and completed. I usually like to drink it with ice or drink it cold, but now it will be like room temperature. So I add in a bit of ice and I will actually store the rest for the next two to three days to drink. So yeah, enjoy! Mmm. Mmm. And there you have it, this is my favourite cashew nut milk to enjoy. Very simple recipe. It's just one date and one and a half cups using this of cashew nuts. So we're gonna try something out which recently I've been into making mochis and I was thinking with every nut milk that you make, there always comes the leftover pulp on the inside which let me just show you but it's gonna be a little messy. After every round of making, you definitely have to wash your um, this part of the machine and do a light cleanse. The one in the middle is for deep cleansing whereas the one on the right is, you know, on my left, on your right is for a light cleanse. So this leftover pulp here, I was thinking Let's try to maybe wrap some mochi with this and see how it tastes. I do have some strawberry left. Maybe I can wrap with strawberry too. But here is how the pulp looks like. You can even use this leftover ones to bake cookies. The other day I mixed them with peanut butter just to eat uh, as a snack and it was actually quite delicious. I've never tried this before, so I'm quite excited. Good mix. And we're gonna microwave our mochi mixture here. I'll come back to you guys. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna grab a small amount of the mochi pulp, cashew pulp syrup. Mmm. Mmm. Ta-da! So here I have my favourite cashew nut milk to drink along with my little mochi snack wrapped with a strawberry maple syrup and the remaining nut pulp from my cashew nut milk and also this little two ones just with maple syrup and the nut pulp. And this is my first time making them and I tried it while I was making halfway and it tasted pretty good. Mm. Mm. So we have come to the end of my video today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to code CLARIS for 10% off your nut milk 
machine purchase you can go directly to the link in the description box where you can purchase your nut milk machine As you can see it is super easy to use this milky plant machine and you can create all sorts of recipes with this including trying out different nuts for different nut milks like this one is hazelnut and i even got myself pecan as well one thing to note is if you want to try the hazelnut milk i would really recommend you to purchase nuts without the skin because when i used this to make nut milks the skin was actually quite rough in texture which i didn't really enjoy so i would actually remove the skins before i blend this hazelnuts into the milky plant machine that's all for today and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mmm. That strawberry is very sour. Mmm. last piece <laughs> all right bye <laughs> <laughs>